I don't know. What's the big one for you? That rat. Don't want to be the black sheep. It might be a log that he's eating. He's eating something. He likes it. Stand up. No, I He ate it. Yeah. He ate some, but did he? He's eating it. He's treat now, isn't he? No. Isn't he? Mm. He's eating his tree. He's going to say it tomorrow if, if he's very naughty, isn't he? He's very hungry, isn't he? Yeah. Yes. Do that Where's Kain gone? Do you have night vision on that?
Were you? Yeah, good so uh. The crabs and the shrimps and things like this. You might get fish rock washed up in a rock pool. And uh, she, you can see how she's using her feet to turn over things and see if there is anything there. Yes, there we are. Snack and then, and then also, very, just about anything that I'll find on the Falkland Islands. They would food, as you might imagine, if you've ever been, ever been on a trip to the Antarctic. Um, and stuff off, and stuff off, and stuff off. A time when they were on a hit list. Uh, a bird like this, which is so good at working out a new way of finding food. Spent a long time, of course, like all the creatures there, without any human interference at all. It was only when humans colonised the Falklands a couple hundred years ago or so that they met humans. There were no long-term um, residential humans on the Falklands, all those little islands out there. But uh, she doesn't want to waste it. Yeah! Get away with it, enjoy it. And uh, so, of course, they, as soon as the uh, humans came on the scene, the colony called with some sheep. And uh, so just take it back to the And of course, there was, you know, a chance to have something other in the British Isles in the last 30 years has resulted in 
see the goat. The red kite making a big comeback. The red kite, which is rather large, isn't it? It's a bit more ginger. It belongs to the same genus. It has very similar habits. Oh, hang on a minute. Baby Kate. Near enough to stick to the UK. Uh, a few Oi. decades ago. And uh, as a result of reintroduction and uh, protection and so on, there are now thousands of them. Although we don't tend to see them around here yet. They're, they've got their sights. Where they, around where they've been reintroduced, and of course people have been so pleased to have them around the Chiltern Hills and in, uh, down in parts of Kent and parts of Scotland and, uh, and yeah, uh, Leeds as well. Uh, people, people, people feed them in the back gardens and uh, they don't want to. It took me a while to bring him here to the zoo, flying up the open wall, and of course you can see him can see a long way. There's all the obstacles around here. I have to be sure that he wasn't going to get himself into, into any trouble with all the other animals that live here. Yeah, never mind, just getting lost. So there he goes. Very buoyant, like all the sides of the bird. He's uh, very, very agile. We've got an expression actually we might sometimes use. If something happens all at once, very suddenly, we say it He did. Love you too.